I'm going to be uh, performing um, hip mobilizations. Um, there's going to be three. They're all, they're, all three of them are talked uh, in the article that I'm going to refer to here in a little bit. Um, it's going to be the caudal glide, and I'm going to use a belt for that. And then it's going to be an AP or anterior posterior glide, and then the army, army crawl. And uh, the article that um, these mobilizations were, were performed in um, was titled Development of a Clinical Prediction Rule to Identify Patients with Knee Pain and Clinical Evidence of Knee Osteoarthritis Who Demonstrated a Favorable Short-Term Response to Hip Mobilization. So, I mean, in the title it tells you that they're trying to develop um, um, a clinical pr uh, predictor rule with mobilizations to patients who have hip or, um, osteoarthritis. And the clinical prediction rules, there were five of them. One is going to be the hip or groin pain, um, two anterior thigh pain, three passive knee flexion less than 122 degrees, four is going to be the passive hip um, medial or internal rotation less than 17 degrees, and the fifth one is the pain with hip distraction. Um, and after the, the results of the study, I came back and if the patient presents with two, um, two or more of these clinical prediction rules, there's a high probability or a high chance of positive outcomes, which is decreased pain, increased range of motion, and that was actually all the way up to 97%. So for the first, for the first um, mobilization that I'm going to perform is going to be that caudal glide. I'm going to use the belt, like I stated, stated earlier, out of the patient's supine. I'm going to slip the belt around his knee here, and now I'm going to have the patient move the belt as close to the groin area as he can because this is a, um, just an uncomfortable place to have a belt. So I'm going to have the hip flexed at 90 or slightly um, over 90 degrees, and now I'm going to use my, I have the belt wrapped around my back, so I'm going to use my body to provide that distraction at the hip coming uh, the femoral head out of the acetabulum. You can put, uh, you can do glides one to four, one to two with pain modulation, um, three to four you're working into those tissue restrictions. So the next one is going to be the AP glide. I'm going to have the patient cross, in this case it's going to be his right leg, I'm going to have him cross the midline. I'm going to apply a force kind of posterior and lateral with my um, left hand here. So I'm in here, I'm applying a force. Um, Dr. Schulte also said that you could, if this is getting too hard on you, you can also use a shoulder. So you can use your bodies to push against that um, knee. So the next one is going to be the army crawl. Posi the position is going to be kind of abducted, external rotated like he has here, flexed, so just like this kind of in a figure four position, and I'm gonna come with my right hand here, try getting onto that proximal femur, and I'm going to apply the glide anterior kind of lateral here. Once again, with all these, you can do um, grades one, two for pain modulations, three and four, you're working into that tissue restrictions to increase range of motion.